Godfrey Driver Allegro's former mentor who had formulated a more radical interpretation of the Qumran text than Allegro himself had ever attempted. Allegro continued to bring the attention of the public to the delays in the publication of the scrolls. In 1987, a year before his death, he declared the international team's delay to be pathetic and ex inexcusable and added that his former colleagues for years have been sitting on the material which is not only of outstanding importance but also quite the most religiously sensitive. There is no doubt that the evidence from the scrolls undermines the uniqueness of the Christians as a sect. In fact, we know damn all about the origins of Christianity. However, these documents do lift the curtain. By this time, the, initi the initiative had passed into the hands of the next generation of scholars, and Allegro had left the world of scroll scholarship to pursue his research on the origins of myth and religion. His work subsequent to the sacred mushroom and the cross were moderate enough, were moderate enough, but for most readers as well as for the academic establishment, he was to remain an exile. The man who, in the sneering words of the times, had traced the source of Christianity to an edible fungus. He died suddenly in 1988, no longer accepted by his colleagues, but still energetic, enthusiastic about his own philological work in progress and optimistic. It, it must have been some consolation for him to see before his death, that his defiance of the international team and his concern about their delays in releasing material were already being echoed by others. In 1956, Edmund Wilson had favourably reviewed Allegro's popular book of the Dead Sea Scrolls in 19... In 1969, when, the, when he brought out the new edition of his own book, it had swollen to twice its former length. The situation regarding the scrolls was no longer, for Wilson, merely a question of tension and it Ambition, it had now begun to assume the proportions of a cover-up and a scandal. I had been told by a Catholic scholar that at first, in regard to the scrolls, a kind of official policy tended to bias scholarship in the direction of minimising their importance. By the mid-1970s, biblical scholars were beginning to speak openly of a scandal. Even the most do docile, docile, docile began to have their worries. And the international team were alienating men who had no desire to engage in academic controversy among the most prominent names in contemporary Semitic scholarship. For example, is that of Dr. Giza Vermes, 
who has since 1951 been publishing books and articles on the scrolls. Initially, he had no quarrel with the international team. 